Hello guys, DJ Aaron here. Today I am going to do a video on how to properly copy your vinyl records to um, your computer. What you're going to need is a computer, which is this, <laughs> which is what I have, a Windows operating system, and a turntable. Um, this one's a USB turntable, which enables me to record vinyl straight to the uh, um, computer. So what you're going to need is you're going to need something such as SoundForge or um, Audacity. Now, I haven't tested Audacity with this turntable. Being, I don't. Uh, the last time I did try it was, you know probably for a short time and it didn't work but you can use audacity now for audacity it will work but you won't have the track separation like you will have with the uh, deal now I can do the USB codec I can start record so we have the USB so this will work with audacity believe it or not so right now you can see it actually work with audacity so you could use audacity I'm just gonna stop that because we could play it back but listen to that USB interference you, you, you really don't want that but it does work. Another bit of software you can use is what comes with the turntable itself. It's called Sony SoundForge or Sony SoundForge Audio Studios. This is 9.0 and what this will allow me to do, it will do the same thing. So I want to go into vinyl recording and restoration. So what this will do this will do the same thing, but this is designed for this. So I'm going to click record. I'm going to do the play part on the turntable here. We can also monitor the audio that is incoming. So we can actually hear exactly what it sounds like. So, we know that we're recording an Elvis record. Okay, so let's just say we're done. Okay? Let's just say we're done. We could stop that. Next. It's going to find a track gap. Let's just go test for the album. Test for the artist. And we'll go test for the for that. And we'll go test for this. So then we'll go next. Audio peak restoration or audio restoration. So we could uh, minimize some of the clicks and pops like it just did. Save file. MP3. You could go 128 or 192. I'd rather go 192. And next. I'm supposed to go next. Okay, there we go. And then we'll finish that. And then in the end result, what we have came up with, which I'm going to go into the external hard drive, is this. Well, actually, no, that's the wrong uh, folder. Okay, test, test, zero, one, test. Okay, and then we can play it back. There 
There we go. Let's open it with amp. And then now uh, we're playing back what we just recorded. Now let's just say you wanted just audacity to rip that. Since that sounded pretty distorted, we're just going to... I said delete, not rename. I said delete. There we go. Now let's just say you wanted to just do Audacity and you have it set up to where you want it. You could use both. You could use either or. But I would start the recording right when the tone arm drops. That way you minimize that USB audio interference. So now we're recording. And this is recording that 45. And we can do separate tracks too if we really want to. As you can tell, it is kind of clipping there. So what we could do... Okay, so that's got kind of a hot recording there. But we can stop it. And we can play it back. Audacity works really good for vinyl ripping. Pretty awesome. See, so you use that. The only thing you need is a USB turntable. Now, what happens if we don't want all that there? Well, we can cut it down. We could slice it down. So I'm going to click, click on cut. That's professional. Pretty much almost professional way of almost professional way of uh, cutting it. So this is just demonstration. Um, you can use Audacity. You can also use um, you can also use the Sony software if you choose. To access the turntable if it has the supplied USB to access the turntable you have to one let the Kodak install. Number two it is listed under a microphone device. So it says microphone, USB, audio, Kodak, uh, etc. Now, this is in the list. So the next time I record a record into Audacity, all I have to do is just click that. And then boom, you have your input. You could do stereo or you could do mono for regular mono recordings. I would do mono for, since this is a mono 45 and it's easy to do so. Anyways, that's kind of it for this video and peace out, practice and enjoy. Um, I use, I'll probably end up using, fuck, I'll probably end up using both software <laughs> and all that stuff. I kind of zoomed in there on the waveform. Whoops. So, there we go. Peace out, guys. Practice and enjoy. That's uh, pretty much how it is. And also, this will work in Linux, too. You just uh, plug the turntable in. Um... um brain fart. Um, <laughs> you just plug the turntable in, you select your input, and it should go um, just fine. So, 
Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Peace out and practice and enjoy.